experience his higher self as an extremely evil motherfucker. My consciousness is like down to this right here, like very, very small in the astral plane. Um, I can literally feel it. This motherfucker, Michael O'Terrence, he was the one that created that palette number eight entity is an extremely evil motherfucker. He's trying to get me to sell my father's soul. And I am not going to fucking do that. No way in hell am I going to do that. With that being said, he's been tormenting me, my ancestral line, and every motherfucking thing. And he's been trying to disguise himself in the astral plane and hide really, really well. Um, Michael O'Terrence's higher fucking self needs to be taken out the astral plane. He needs to go. Um, I remember seeing him one time um, taking my ancestors out of my consciousness so I would have no connection to any sort of um, which McCollins whatsoever. Um, spiritual protection. With that being said, I, I've been having like a really fucking, a really rough time, um, a very rough time with things. Um, I'm being energy harvested off of my Rosie. That's the woman that took over my body. She's a very racist motherfucker. As a matter of fact, she placed my black ancestors in the, um, because you, you have your ancestors living in your consciousness. She placed them in the road trail part of her consciousness and placed the white ancestors at the front. She doesn't like black people and she constantly calls black people the N-words even though she's done taking over a black woman's body. Not only that, she killed both of my parents in their sleep. Um, took them out their bodies and everything and killed them in their sleep and put a curse on my brothers in that timeline so that um, they stay suffering and they stay in poverty while she took a couple of my fucking timelines and shit and totally fucked it up. But anyways, man, these motherfuckers are putting terrible entity attachments on me. Um, in my crown chakra right here, not my crown chakra, that shit's totally fucking gone. Um, I had placed right there, um, what they call the wano or some shit like that. My spiritual protection is supposed to be that's designed to attack me and all of that. Every time I fucking wake up, I wake, you know, like early this morning, I woke up with half of my consciousness gone. And damn near, you know, forgetting everything, my fucking memories, all of that. Now, these motherfuckers, they're putting entity attachments in me right now as I talk. They're trying to fuck with my physical consciousness. But anyways, the curse that I'm facing, man, is extremely fucking evil. I'm sitting in the fucking Roach Hotel right now as I talk, and, you know, I'm not going to have enough money to be able to stay here tomorrow, so I'm going to have to try to find a shelter and all of that. I've just been in a very fucked up place, like a very fucked up state, and I just don't know what to do. You know, I'm getting dangerously close to dying. And, you know, I've been having a lot of spiritual protection. Fucking, fucking intrusive ass thoughts. That's been keeping me alive, um, despite having little to no consciousness, you know, if... I would be fucked if I didn't have my spiritual team with me. With that being said, I'm being surrounded by like evil parasitic ass entities um, that attack me fucking nightly. Every time I go to sleep, you know, these things, they try to get into my consciousness to eat the little bit of consciousness that I have left and fuck it up. Yeah, I, I feel totally fucked up. These things are extremely aggressive. They got sent by Rosie and Michael O'Terrence to keep me from getting back into that uh, timeline. 
You know, the other day I made um, progress where I almost woke myself back into it. And it totally got fucked up, totally. My head doesn't feel solid. They put some entity attachment and I had to keep it from being solid so that they could uh, parasite off my consciousness. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. It's all true. I was puking up early this fucking morning. You know, because I'm getting near dead. I mean, I may not look like it because of my spiritual team, my spiritual protection, but I am. I'm getting near dead. And it's sad. I'm really, really scared, man. I'm just, I'm very, very scared and I'm pissed off with these fucking people. They're doing this because they want to keep my spiritual fucking abilities. And when I put start to put myself together, that's when it starts to come back. This is, this is an extremely torturous ass motherfucking curse. I swear up and down, man. It's like I say, um... They totally fucked up my ancestors' consciousness early this morning in an attempt to um, disconnect me from my ancestors. And they're totally trying to fucking hide me in the astral plane so that nobody can find me and help. I'm getting dangerously close to dying. Very, very dangerously close. <laughs> 